Hi, I'm Scott Tibbs from Roland, and we're here at Kraft Music looking at the FA08. For great deals, check out the Kraft Bundles. Let's listen to the sounds of the FA. There's a very easy to understand tone selection area. Also, there's sound modify knobs that you can tweak the sound in real time. Let's listen to the first Supernatural Grand Piano. It's very nice. The action is amazing. Now, if I wanted to make the piano sound just a little bit more warmer, I can easily go in and tweak the EQ. You can dial in and make your perfect piano. Now it's a... Now it's much warmer. Now I like to mess around with the TFX. These global adjustments can do some very, very interesting effects while you're playing in real time. So let's choose maybe a phaser. Maybe a slicer. Chorus. So very, very cool, very easy to use. Another one of my favorites is the electric pianos. Now I like to use this feature, the chord memory. So if I don't know how to play chords all that great, I could just turn the chord memory on, choose many of the different types of styles, and just play one note chords. So very, very cool, very useful. Also, I'll take the chord memory off. I could go into the TFX and maybe add some tremolo. Perfect for that nice R&B ballad. There's also some amazing tone wheel organs. And I can use the S1 and S2 buttons to kick in the rotary. Now, what I like to use with the organs is I like to go into the TFX and dial in a little bit of overdrive. Now I can compete with the guitar players. Incredible supernatural acoustic bass. Now I can also play it just like a bass player would. I can do the hammer-ons and the slides. But the main thing is it just sounds incredible. Now let's go to some of the synth basses. Of course, you can go in and tweak the cutoff, dial in your favorite sound. like to use is the arpeggiator. Now you can use any of the 128 preset arpeggiated sounds or you can create your own. I'll just grab one of the stock ones here. Let's call up another synth bass. It's very easy to call up another sound. Just hit enter and then use the dial to select 
your next favorite bass. There's so many in here. I'm going to go to one. Uh, let me see. This is the one I like. This is kind of cool. Maybe use the arpeggiator again. Maybe just call up any other one. Okay, now let's go to some very, very nice acoustic supernatural guitars. Very, very easy to play. The sound is so beautiful. And also it does the hammer-ons. It behaves exactly the way an acoustic guitar player would play the notes. So if I play a slide, like a grace note on the keyboard, it translates it into a slide. Super realistic. Also, amazing steel string guitar sounds. Now if I play arpeggiated, I get the nice sound. If I play together, I get the strum. That's the supernatural behavior. Now let's go to some orchestral sounds. Now I love this orchestral brass. Now I may want to brighten that up with the filter. immediately going to a nice, warm, softer brass. Okay, so let's listen to one of the string sounds. Very realistic, very nice, very easy to play. However, I'm going to adjust the attack and the release. So you can notice it has a kind of a, a, a short attack and a short release. So I'm going to adjust the attack a little bit. And the release, lengthen the release a little bit. So I can play very expressively. Okay, let's check out some of the lead sounds. Now I like to use again the TFX and maybe add a, a nice effect to it. Maybe this nice little chorus. How about a nice phaser? And of course, Roland has amazing string pads. This is the JP8 strings. Incredible sweeping of the filters. You don't hear any stepping at all. Now here's another Jupiter type string pad. And this time I'm going to go in and tweak, have some fun with it with the TFX. 
add maybe the slicer LFO to it. Very, very useful functionality. There's plenty of LFO-based effects here in the FA. Now on this one, let's play around with the chromatic pitch shifter. Now let's go to the Supernatural drum kits. A little tighter session kit. I really like this kit. Classic hip hop kits. Nine oh nine eight oh eight kit. Some very, very cool electro kits. So now let's understand a little bit about the keyboard mode. Now you have single mode where you have one sound on the keyboard. Very simple, very easy to understand. You can also have a split keyboard. So you can easily set up your split point. You just decide where you want it to be. I have electric piano up here, acoustic bass down here. There's also a dual mode that allows you to layer two different sounds on the keyboard. Here's the first one. And here's the layer. Now there's also a studio set mode that is very powerful, not only for performance where you can have up to 16 part layers, you can also use this for sequencing. Now I'm going to go into part view and I'm just gonna play you a four part layer. Start with one sound, which is just a nice electric piano. Now I'm gonna go in and just start to unmute these parts. third layer. Fourth layer. There's also individual levels and panning adjustments that you can have per part so you can really balance and tweak your sound to perfection. The FA sounds absolutely killer. All right, let's have some fun with the sample pads.
Okay, now let's get to the most fun part of the creative process. Let's create some tracks using the FA sequencer. So first I'm just going to go into record. I'm gonna, I have it set to grid quantize at the eighth note, and I'm going to record an eight bar loop. So I got one bar up front, that's my count in, and then I'll start playing drums. Now it's going to fix it, hopefully. Okay. I can also rehearse. Without it recording anything. Here we go. Let me rehearse a little bit of the piano part. Here we go. Rehearse a little bit of the arpeggiated sound. Rehearse the bass. I really like the direction of where this is going. Now I can go easily and start to mix all the tracks, go into the mixer section, and just start to have some fun mixing all the tracks here. Adjust the panning. Okay, it sounds pretty good. Now at this point, my track sounds good. Now what I want to do is I want to take this in to my DAW, do some final tweaking, use the FA as a controller that I can bring it into Logic, bring it into Cubase, bring it into Sonar, or I can customize uh, my controller settings for other applications. So I can easily go in and do a quick bounce of the tracks by going into Song Utility, export song and I can choose a bounce all of the stems individual parts or I can bounce a stereo mix so if I go to the individual stems I can name them whatever I want and then I start to execute it and then it bounces it in real time all of the individual stems by themselves and then I can take that SD card bring it into my computer and then I start going crazy and making my track sound amazing
So that's the F808 workstation from Roland. Incredible performance keyboard, incredible production tool. I'm Scott Tibbs from Roland. We're here at Craft Music. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>